Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are at the Talati Wharf here in 18 billion. And Can I'm, I help? I'm gonna actually here you go. Sell some of my stuff to him, uh, just so we can get some money. So let's do some bandages, uh, interface units. We need to keep the programmable field array. We gotta keep the repair laser. I wanna keep the seminars. One star crew management. We should see if we can give that to some of our pilots. We'll sell the hydraulic pumps and the magiclet. I think that's all we can sell right now. All right, that gets us thirty-nine thousand. Good profit to you. And uh, so that gets a uh, gives our uh, our vulture a little bit more overhead to work with. Um, okay, so I haven't really done anything since I left you left you in the last episode. I just basically landed at the station and wanted to sell that right away so that we can, um, you know, get some more money for our trader. So let's head back to the ship. And I think what we'll do is we're just going to fly around the outside of the station and look for some data leaks to see if we can... Uh, get a mission going. That is the plan to start out the episode. The ship is so awesome looking, man. I love it. It's so cool. Okay. All right. So we got a dude that wants us to take him off this station and somewhere else for thirty-eight thousand. Uh, that looks like some pretty easy money. Let's do it. I knew I could count on you. I have uh, set up my, my hotastic stick too, Docking so granted. this ship is so much nicer to fly with the HOTAS than with the mouse. Legal cargo on drone detected. Successfully docked. Let's go find our boy. Welcome. There he is. Hello. Well, hello. Please come aboard. You don't have enough room on your ship right now. Oh, that's right. We've got some crew on the ship that we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to move. So let's go here. Attention all departing pilots. Pirates have been seen in the sector. Be careful. Pirates, huh? Okay, we got to get rid of somebody off our Falcon. Um, so here's a crewman. Can we tell you to go work on the Sentinel as a crewman? Service crew. Okay, I guess um, says the person's in transit. So he's figuring out his own way to get there. Now let's see what, if this works. Hello. Nice. Okay. So we have to wait for him to get on our ship. He should be coming in here with us. Okay, let's go to the Sentinel. So, uh, why exactly is it that you need to get off the station so quickly? Uh, he doesn't want to. <laughs> He's not paying. He's not paying me to. Are that 
to, to, to tell him that stuff, so. Wait for passenger to arrive. Okay, so I'm gonna have Captain Zezosis uh, do the flying so he can get a little bit of XP here. So let's go to here. And we need to go to, uh, let's see, fast flight set. Oh yeah, it's already active, okay. So if it's already active, can I just, Let's go to the, whoops, go to the Sentinel and tell it to dock and wait. There we go. Okay. And Zezosis will fly us over there. And our passenger is, I guess he's lounging in the, in the, the break room. We have a break room on our ship? We must have a break room on our ship somewhere. Or maybe he's just in the hold, I don't know. While we're waiting for all that, let's go to here and let's take a look at our transaction log. And so this basically shows all of the profits that our, our vulture has made. And it, keep, it it's climbing. So here it was 10,000, 10,007, 12,000. And then it went from 13 up to way up to here from 13 to 39. Right. So his first profit was 9,000. His second was 10. His third was 12, his fourth was 13. And then his next one is 14. This money here is the stuff we sold at the trader. But the important thing is that each time he's going out on a trip, he's making a little bit more money for us. Um, considering the the limitations that he has, that's, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. This is our ship, our external view. I actually really like the look of this ship. It's pretty cool looking. All right, so this guy should be popping off. And an easy 38,525 uh, uh, credits. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, I like that. Let's uh let's see if we can do another one. So now we'll just fly around this station in scan mode and see if we can find another mission. Okay, we will kill any baddies that we come across. Okay, how come you're not targeting? Jump gate. Nostra tell 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 tour bus B. I guess this technically isn't an enemy of us, because my target next enemy is not working. But my direct target doesn't seem to be working either. Oh, there's a mission. All right, I'm just gonna click right tour bus on B. him. And. <laughs> we wasted him. <laughs> That's terrible. These guns are a little bit better than the ones on the Elite. That's for sure. We got some herbicide out of the deal. Okay, let's go see what this mission is. This is a commission. So a commission is more like a job and not precisely a mission as I understand it. Um, so if we go into here,
Okay, escort mining ship. Um, fly to position Grand Exchange 4, escort the mining ship. This is a medium difficulty. We're in dire need of mining materials to keep our economy going. Unfortunately, our mining ships have recently been coming under attack by cock forces. Seems they are somehow drawn to the ore. We need you to accompany our mining ship and make sure that it can deliver its wares unharmed. This might... This might be tough. Um... Well, I knew I could count on you. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. I hope we don't regret this, though. All right, so let's let's give it a try. <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna go. I, I don't particularly like escort missions, but um, like I said, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we are just about to the mission site, and I actually called Callie over to come and assist, too, as our, as our wingman, or wingwoman. I don't know how well this is going to go. Okay, so that's the one we have to escort. Let's get a little closer to it. All right, we got a bogey there. All right, so get get on to the station, man. Protector. Okay, so we got incoming here. Awaiting orders. You have your orders, Cal. Don't let these guys take this guy out. Okay, let's, um, for, my targeting doesn't seem to be working right. Um, Wayne's guard. Oh, he's way far away. Okay, we gotta stick with the, the ship here. Forager. Okay, we got him out of the way. Ah. Uh, Protector. We failed. These missions are so damn hard. I remember them being super hard before, too. We just don't have the the firepower to do this. And I don't... My targeting isn't doesn't seem to be working correctly, either. For some reason. But we might as well at least kill these guys and get the credit for doing that. But my next target nearest enemy isn't working, and direct targeting T isn't working because um, it's. Hive guard. I have to use my mouse to target. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Are these guys even fighting back? They act like they're not even fighting back. pull this stuff in yeah they're not even fighting us I don't this is weird it's like it's bugged or something maybe after they've killed the target they 
they stop working or something. It's like he doesn't care that I'm shooting at him. Okay, what if we go here? And we grab Callie and tell her to attack multiple objects. We might as well get her some XP too while we're doing this. Protector. Oh wow, he's really far away. Protector. He's only 12 clicks out. Let's go after him. Yeah, these cock are bugged. No Away pun intended. Orders. But they're not fighting back at all, which is really weird. Maybe we can at least Fire get guard. get some uh, some rep with Talati for shooting them. And some loot skis, maybe? Can we tell Kelly to attack my target? Ball attack. Well, at least tell her to attack that one. Okay. So, yeah, that mission did not go well at all. <laughs> very, very difficult to do at this point. Well, we're getting some more or less free kills out of the deal, so there is that, I guess. I'm going to take him down until uh, he's almost done and let Callie finish him off. So hopefully that gets her some XP. Okay, let's let her take him out. Okay, she got him, I think. Does he drop any loot? Yeah, there's something right there. Okay, um, there's still four more cock around. So, attack him. And I'll go after this one. Yeah, my targeting's not working. It's very frustrating because that makes this task extremely difficult. Is it because... Is it a mouse mode thing? If I go shift in. Okay, now I'm in mouse shifting mode. Protect forager. Next target works, but target nearest enemy in direct targeting does not work. Right, we got him. I'm not surprised we failed the mission. Just cause orders. I know how damn hard those escort missions are in this game, but I'm irritated that my targeting is not working. Protector. All right, all the enemies are gone. Uh, we had some Invidium Oxide and an ore container. That's it. That ore container. <laughs> It was probably the customer we were supposed to protect. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know what? We tried, right? What can you do? Um, there's a lockbox here. I noticed that earlier. So let's go ahead and go grab that. We might as well. And I don't think we're going to... We're probably not going to take any medium difficulty escort missions, at least not right now. We need more firepower. We either need a squadron of of, you know, pretty beefy ships or we need like a Corvette with a bunch of turrets or something because there's just no way I was going to be able to do it and do that and keep that ship safe. Okay, we got that and we got that.
Atosh cooling mod. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. So. Um, let's check Callie's level now. So according to this, she's like a full three star now. Primary skill for bots. Improves operating range for free traders and miners of generally general decision making. Uh, see, this doesn't show her as having three stars, but this does. So I don't quite get that. But can we? Can I help? Basic seminar management. Seminar for three. Okay, so this this suggests that she is now a three star pilot. If that's the case, we should be able to put her in the vulture and then have the vulture do Goodbye. normal auto trading, which basically means they can go anywhere. They're not stuck to one sector. Uh, and we can also tell them to do um, you know multiple wares too. They're not stuck to one ware. So I think she's three stars. If we go look in personnel management, see this suggests she's not average of person's primary and secondary skills. Indicates okay, so this is like everything all together. Whereas this is specifically piloting, which makes sense because her morale is almost to level three too. So I think she's qualified. So here's what we're gonna do: we are going to. We're just going to take her with us back to 18 billion and put her in the vulture and see if we can do actual auto trading. If we can, that's going to really make a big difference. And we can really we'll really start seeing some some money being made. Okay, so let's head on let's head on back to 18 billion. All right. Let's go information all right so you have 352 whole parts so you must be on the way to the Talati shiplard uh, shiplard <laughs> shipyard to sell those okay so let's let them finish their thing and then we're going to, once they get there, um, we're going to stop them and we're going to switch that captain out with, with Kelly. Successfully docked. Okay, remove all orders and assignments, and I want you to dock and wait. We'll wait for the vulture to sell. Vulture. Sentinel. Okay, so let's remove that command. Uh, we just were a tiny bit late, so we want him to dock here. Dock and wait. And he's got an empty hole. Okay, cool.
let's go to personnel. And I want Callie to work somewhere else. I want you to go to the Vulture Sentinel as the captain. Okay. And then I want... He's got two morale and just one sliver of management. He's got piloting, engineering, and morale. Okay, let's take Zizosis and let's make him the pilot of the Vanguard. And then these other two are just being crew so far. With our trader. Now, what if we... Um, let's go here. Dock ship's going upgrade at a war. Okay, yeah. I was going to add some more crew to here, but I don't think we'll do that right now. So now what we should be able to do is select the vulture. Go to behavior and start auto trade. We can't do Repeat all orders in the ship's order queue. We can't do advanced auto trade, but she's got three stars. Does it mean she has to have three overall stars and not three stars in piloting? I'll bet you that's what that means. It has to be overall stars. Build short, find and perform multiple trades. Buy maximum amount of cargo from one seller and sell to multiple buyers, sell off current cargo first. So she could do fill shortages. Yeah, I'll bet you this means she needs three over overall stars and not just three piloting stars. That's the only thing that makes sense. Okay, let's try this fill shortages. If we did hull parts, Nostrop oil. <sighs> Shield components, Taladionium. Quantum tubes. Engine parts, energy cells, Claytronics. Advanced electronics. Okay, now click OK. Click Confirm. Okay, now it's set to fill shortages. The command is free trading. Yeah, she's not quite to three stars there. Now, isn't there also supposed to be an option where I can tell her how many jumps that she does? Or is that... Maybe this only applies to the same system as well, perhaps? If that's the case, I'm going to add super fluid coolant because I know that's in this system. And silicon wafers. Let's do microchips and medical supplies as well. And graphene. Okay, click OK. Confirm. 
Yeah, I don't see an option to tell her to how many systems she can jump through. So I'm assuming this still has to stay in the same station. So right now she's searching, she's searching for trades. And um, let's let her do her thing and see what happens. Now, if we go here, and the elite vanguard, can I help? I want you to. Can I give you a seminar or a one star? I don't think so. Goodbye. Okay, I'm gonna have you. Do some more exploring to open some more territory up for us. So we've got a pretty, we've done a pretty good job of opening up Grand Exchange. Uh, Grand Exchange One, which happens to be our own home system, has a lot more stations in it that have to be uncovered. So let's send you to here, and I'm just gonna have you fly and wait, and then when you get there we will have you uncover the system okay as for us let's get up and sell all the stuff that's currently in our inventory oh you know what there's something i want to do if we go to settings i saw this on a on a, a tips video that i was watching and go to controls and platform movement if we set run forward to w Then we just simply always run. And since there's no stamina in this game, it doesn't cost us anything. That way we can get around a little more quickly. So there you go. Nice little tip there. Let's go to the trader. Can I help? Here you go. All right. Let's sell salvage electronics. Let's sell herbicide, uh, magic lit, and I guess that's all we have to sell, which isn't a lot. Okay. Good profit to you. Yeah, same to you. Okay. Let's take the fast way back to the ship. All right, so we did not. Do we not Falcon have a cap, captain at all for our ship? I don't think we do. So, what we might want to do in that case is promote one of these dudes to captain. This guy doesn't have any captain points at all. This guy has one and a third captain points. Promote to pilot. Okay. There we go. Fan friggin' tastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for us to. Can I help? Can we give you a seminar? No, we can't. Not a, Sir. Not a piloting seminar, anyways. Sir. I think it's time for us to look for some more missions. And I also think it's probably... We're probably out of time in this episode, too. Um, so what I'm going to do is fly around, look for some more missions. And I might actually accumulate a few missions. And then once I get a few missions going... Um, I'll bring you guys back to start the next episode. I might also do a little bit of off-camera crystal hunting, too, just to, again, kind of build our money up. Uh, speaking of which, if we look at this right now, okay, this is kind of where we're at at the moment. Okay, so it looks like Callie just spent all of our money on something, which is not, which is good. That means she's trading something. Um, information. 
she is she's doing Talati Talatianium. Cool. Okay, so the, she's doing her thing, which is great. Now, once we can get her to, you know, three stars overall, then we can set her off on actual auto trading. Uh, so this is kind of the next step up, I'm assuming, from, from local auto trading, based upon what it's appearing to be. Um, so, yeah, we, <laughs> we currently have 122 credits. So with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you all in the very next episode. Bye-bye.